now that I've grounded my base, or now that I've grounded my car body and made it the base, I'm going to attach the four wheels and the two axles. I'm going to use this control up here. So left click on constrain and there are a bunch of options in here. We're simply going to use mate constraints and then right here are two different types. There's the mate and there's the flush. So we'll use this and we'll use these two. One thing that you need to be aware of as you try to constrain everything is that your your wheel on your mouse also acts as a button. If you press the wheel down, you can slide everything around. If you turn the wheel, you can zoom in and out. You will see me do that multiple times while I assemble all these parts. So hold down the wheel, it's a button, and you can drag, scroll back and forth on the wheel, and you can zoom. All right, let's begin. Constrain. I'm just going to select a wheel that I want to constrain. I'm going to left click on the green dot. Sometimes it is kind of picky. So there's my green dot. It's my center point. I'm going to left click on the center point. And then I'm going to come over here and left click on the center point of the hole. And it makes that lovely noise. Click apply. I'm going to keep this at mate. I'm going to click on the face of the wheel. Then I'm going to click on the face of the car body. Click apply. If I close this, my wheel is constrained to the car body perfectly with the hole. Zoom out. I'm going to attach this wheel to the other side. So click constrain. Click on the center point of the wheel. I need to rotate my view using the view cube. I'm going to click on the center point of the car body hole. Click apply. I'm still on mate. I'm going to use mate. I must click apply. Click there, click there, apply. I can close that. I can return to my home view and we can see that I have two of my four wheels attached. Excellent. Now let's do an axle.